Welcome back students. In this video lesson, we will learn selection sort in array. In selection sort technique, sorting takes place by stepping through all the elements one by one either smallest or largest element and swapping it into right position. On each pass, this algorithm selects either largest or smallest of the remaining unsorted element and places them in the right order. For example, consider this array. Let us imagine that it needs to get sorted in ascending order. In this technique, it will search for the least value of that array in the beginning and swap the value at first index. In this example, we have 11 as the least number at index number 4. So, value at index number 4 and value at index number 0 will get swapped. Here you can see it is having two main steps. One is searching for the element and the other one is swapping. Searching will happen in the inner loop and the swapping will happen in the outer loop. If the length of the array is n and then n minus 1 iterations we required for swapping. Here the first element got sorted. So again it will search for the least element in this part of the array. Here we get 14 as the least number. So the value at index number 3 will get swapped with the value at index number 1. Now the remaining array from 2 to the last element. So here we can again see 21 is the least element. So 21 gets swapped with value at index number 2. Now the fourth iteration that is index number 3 and 4 gets swapped to arrange in the particular order. After n minus 1 swapping, array get sorted. I will explain elaborately working of selection sort. Let us have array like this. I already told you swapping will be in the outer loop and the searching will be in the inner loop. For outer loop, we need n minus 1 iterations that we will write i is equal to 0, i is lesser than arr dot length minus 1. Now to search the least value in the array, we will consider the first one is the least one and then we will compare with the rest of the element. So temporarily to consider the first element as least element, I will have variable called mv that is minimum value and index for that I will take it as minimum index. So that is the index which is having the minimum value. Now I will assign the value that is arr of i temporarily to minimum value and the index is for mi that is i. Here in this example i will be 0 that is mi is 0. arr of i that is mv will become 15. Now inner loop to search again we need n minus 1 iterations. Already we are having value of this first index as mv so we can compare with the next element that is j equal to i plus 1. So the starting index value will be 1 and the last index value will be 4 that is i will be 3, 3 plus 1, 4. So j will go from 1 to 4. In this example, let us start comparing the element. To compare the elements, we will give the condition that is arr of j. That is here 25, we will check whether it is lesser than mv that is 15. If that is true, then we will put arr of j's value into minimum value. If it is not true, then it will not put the value into mv. Same like that, the index number of j also will put in mi. So it will do until the last index here. When the iterations get completed, it would have searched for minimum value and minimum index for that. So it will come out of the loop. Let us know how it will do in this example. So arr of j that is i plus 1, 0 plus 1 will become 1. It will have 25 as its value. So this 25 and 15 is compared. 15 is lesser than 25. So it is this uh, becomes false. Now j will become 2. 15 and 18 both are compared 
again 15 is lesser so it is false now when j is 3 the value at 3 will be 12 which is lesser than 15 so what happens here arr of j that is arr of 3 value 12 will go and store in mv and then the index of that value will go to mi so j will go to mi that becomes 3 now at index number 4 10 is available so 12 and 10 will get compared so according to arr of j that is 10 is lesser than mv that is 12 when it is true it changes the value to mv so mv becomes 10 and then mi becomes 4 when the first pass get over we will have the minimum value of that array element now we can swap the elements having least value and the first element we already know how to swap the values so we will have one more variable called temporary where we will put the i's value so the 15 will go and store in temp now arr of mi so that is 10 will go to the arr of i so 10 gets stored in first index now we will have already the value of the first index which was there in temp that will be stored to value at mi so it becomes 15 so this is the first pass the least element has gone to the first index now i is 1 so that value will go to mv that is 25 here now j will be i plus 1 that is 2 at 2 we have 18 18 is lesser than 25 that is true so mv will become 18 and then mi becomes 2 next arr of 3 will be 12 so 12 is lesser than 18 this is true so mv will become 2 mi become index of 12 will be 3 now j will be 4 at 4 15 is available 15 is not lesser than 12 so it is wrong so when j is equal to 5 it comes out of the loop value at index number 1 and value at index number 3 should get swapped so value at index number 1 will go to temp and then value at 3 will go to 1 that is 12 and value at mi that is value at 3 will get stored the value of temp so at the end of the second pass these two index get arranged so at the beginning of pass 3 i will be 2 and then arr of i will be 18 here j will be i plus 1 that is 2 plus 1 will be 3 at 3 25 is available 25 is not lesser than 18 so it is wrong now j will become 4 at 4 we have 15 and this 15 is lesser than 18 it is true so what happens mv becomes 15 mi becomes 4 when j is 5 it is false it comes out of the loop now it gets swapped now i becomes 3 so mv will be 25 and it will get compared with j that is at 4 it is 18 it is true and then what happens mv becomes 18 mi becomes 4 so arr of 5 it becomes false it comes out of the loop then will get swapped and then when i becomes 4 it is false so it will come out of this loop so by that time all the elements get sorted so after that we will print the sorted array now let us go to the program and just 
write the codes and execute. I will create a class called selection sort. Class selection sort. Instead of taking input using java.io, I will take as argument. So I give public static void main of instead of main I will give sort. I will take integer type array int arr of. Let me create the variables needed int mv mi then temp let me have i and j also so now array comes as argument i will write the for loop for i is equal to 0 i is lesser than arr dot length minus 1 i plus plus so mv is equal to arr of i then mi is equal to i. Now let me have the next for loop for j is equal to i plus 1 j is lesser than arr dot length then j plus plus. I check the condition if arr of lesser than minimum value then what happens minimum value becomes arr of j and then minimum index becomes j so now i come out of for loop i swap so temp is equal to arr of i and then arr of i is equal to arr of mi now arr of mi is equal to temp now swapping it over now we will come out of this outer for loop now we can print the sorted array so for that we will give a message system dot out dot print line of sorted array is here so i need a for loop for i is equal to 0 i is lesser than arr dot length i plus plus system dot out dot print of i will give arr of i then plus some space here terminate this so let me compile this no syntax error so now i will give the array inside the flower brackets now i will give 7 1 98 23 65 12 minus 34 so array length automatically it will take how much ever we give ok so we can see here minus 34 1 7 12 23 65 98 so it is sorted actually the program is very simple in elaborated way i have explained you how it works now let us know the difference between bubble sort and selection sort in bubble sort adjacent elements are swapped but here largest or smallest so whichever order we required according to that elements are swapped 
then bubbles are swapping happens in inner loop but in selection sort we have seen that swapping happens in the outer loop so it is slower selection sort is faster comparing to the bubble sort bubble sort is not so efficient selection sort is more efficient than the bubble sort students i hope this was very helpful to you to learn selection sort keep watching my videos thank you students